<laughs> and then you're okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just line arting. The art is all towers, and he's the dude. I'm just line arting. An incredibly, incredibly slow line arting style that just gives really good looking lot, uh, lines. And zoom out and show it off. <laughs> <laughs> Cherno for days. It's true, Kika is super attractive and you should draw her all the time. Turn her into elves. Many, many elves. Did you really have to emote bomb me? I don't know. It seems like hard work. Anyway. Oh god, I'm about to reach the braids. This is gonna take a while. <clears throat> <laughs> French me like one of your draw girls you meet in Creed. You handsome slab of man, you. Much more attractive than me. Titan's Creed, smoking and drinking wine. I don't get that reference. I feel like I should. God damn it. I hate the line tool so much for double clicks. Now I've got to zoom even further in. Oh well. It's true, I'm beautiful. <laughs> You're right, I've got the beard and the hair. Just like the French girl. You're correct. Well played. Oh, goodness. No, I'm, I've been exercising very, very hard, so when I eventually get skinny and vaguely androgynous again, I might lose the beard just to see what the fuck happens. Right now, I need the beard to hide my horrendous trollish face. Also, I need to fix this chair, because it squeaks like a bitch. It's an American thing. Titan's Creed is an American, like, smoking a drink. I, I'm interested. I want you to explain this because I feel like I need to learn as much America as I can. Considering I now live in your time zone. Which is still weird for my body. It says it's midnight, half midnight and my body thinks it's fucking, I don't know, like, six o'clock in the evening. Oh, we think all French people smoke and drink wine all the time. Well, they do. That's that's not that's, bet, that's a fact. Not an American thing. They don't only eat long, thin bread, though. They also eat lots of cheese and go. Ho, ho, ho. There you go. That was racist, wasn't it? Fantastically racist. Oh yeah, and then you followed up with cheeses before the stream delay. So I'll let you off there. Mmm, la baguette. Mm. I, I should add that right now I'm, I'm pretty full of whiskey. It, it, I'm going to use that as my excuse for being technically racist, which is just a shame. I was about to make a joke about technically racist being the best kind of racist, but it isn't. Because we've got some seriously fucking racist government folk these days, and they are miserable old cunts, and I hope that all of them fall down some kind of incredibly tall cliff and land in many, many spikes, and get penetrated to asshole first. Yeah, take that, government. Ye bastards. <laughs> Hashtag not Gandalf. <laughs> Thousand looks away for one second and sees many, many requests to draw people. There needs to be some elf dan drawings, but I think that you would draw me far too attractive for my own good. Let's face it, I don't, I don't need to be Thousand attractive in art, as cool as it would be.
<laughs> Mortal Kombat's backwards. Dude, it's like all people that get into government nowadays everywhere are racist, homophobic cunts. It's true. I mean, I won't... <laughs> I wish it weren't the case. I wish that were an overgeneralization, but it really fucking isn't. It's a goddamn miserable state out there. Which worries me, what if my goals of getting generally more androgynous looking. Yeah, good luck to that as well, I know. What would you do if Am What would Americans do if Trump got in power? That's an interesting question. I'm also worried what the rest of the world will do if Trump gets in power, because most of them don't know he exists yet. Apart from in memes. God, there are some scary Trump memes. You'd move. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're you're 100% correct. I, I worry, honestly, that he will get into power in some kind of fashion because people are fucking stupid. Because also it means that all other countries will suddenly judge America based entirely on how fucking stupid that orange cunt is. <laughs> Trump's in this bitch. So, peace outies. I get a, a lovely time. But we need to uh, leave America now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm pretty sure lots of Americans think that America makes up the EU as well. So, I mean, we're safe on our side of the pond. You're right, he's, he's a rich cunt, isn't he? He's a rich, rich cunt. I mean, it shows that he's powerful in the fact that us uninterested British people know so much about him. Like, we haven't known anything about a not-black president unless they're clinically retarded. Like, if you ask us, like, okay, uh, it's gonna sound odd, but we don't know anything about American history. I once got basically told off for not knowing anything about some, God damn it, some certain people. Um, certain American folks like presidents and wars and all that stuff they don't realize that Britain's we're never taught that stuff we're never exposed to it because none of us care and it's not in our curriculums and it's not something we should ever have to care about it's another country's problems just like nobody knows what it was like in insert Indian government ten years ago when there was this fight thing going on. We don't know shit about that because we never needed to learn it. So for British people to know anything about American presidents or important American government members there has to be a really big reason. They're either, they either have to be dramatically killed and we have to know that they're popular when they're killed like JFK. They have to be a bear fighting madman like Roosevelt. Or they have to be black or a racist, a super racist. And of course Americans have to learn European history in US schools, we kind of came first. I don't agree with it because for the same reason we don't give a shit about American history, why would Americans give a shit about EU history? <laughs> but I'm not surprised that you do learn it, let's put it that way. Roosevelt's a fucking man. Not enough British people know who Roosevelt is. That motherfucker's dope. Him and Tate. God damn. They are scary cunts. Yeah, no, Roosevelt is the best present you guys have ever had. Love me some old Teddy R. But, like, um... A lot of English people only know JFK exists because he was assassinated dramatically and he slept with lots of women. What they don't know is all the stuff about him in, like, the Navy and being a soldier and suffering from an incredible, like, list of physical and mental illnesses that got to the point where he was really only the kind of person he was because he was doped up to shit on so many opiates. Like, there are speeches and stuff of him out there that are, um... Like, he just looks like an incredibly different and useless man, and it's because he's just having a bad meds day, and... <laughs> shit, I can understand that today. Today, is that's, an, that's a concept that I understand. Oh yeah, there's that too, where he, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gets shot in the chest. 
There's only one thing Roosevelt loved more than being one of the best goddamn presidents, and that's dueling. That motherfucker loved dueling. <laughs> Which one was the one who was known as Old Hickory? Because he would beat people to death with a cane. Was that Tate? I love all the stories and stuff, but, like, being British, I have an unbiased view of, um, American presidents and stuff, so I know things like, um, Abe Lincoln was actually, he was, like, the fucking bogeyman, uh, he was a properties lawyer who dealt entirely in cases where people in farmlands and stuff would get evicted, so they would attribute his disgusting ghoulish face with them becoming homeless and losing everything they owned. And when he became president, he was a bully. That was it, Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson was crazy. What did Tate do? I can't remember Tate. Like, I only know them because I know their names, so I then have to attach them to bits of fucking pop knowledge that I've been granted. Latest Creed, have a good one. Of course most people are massively drunk most of the time. What else were they gonna fucking do with their time? Video games didn't exist yet. Yeah, take care, dude. I can't wait to see the finals of the uh, Blood Bowl Invitational. It should be good times. To be fair, there aren't many interesting British figures anyway, that'd be why. None of them really stand out. I'll say this much as well. <laughs> Brits don't learn about British history either. We know about our errors, but we don't know about any important people because we never gave a fuck about any of them. Just like in 40 years, no one's going to know who any of them are. Apart from Margaret Thatcher, yes. There was... Ugh. Okay. Imagine you're really, really, um, just basic right-wing politician. And then imagine that that right-wing politician went to, um, all of the poor folks on, and all of the factory groups. Like, I know that there was a steel, there was a steel rush in, um, America as well. I mean, yeah, there's, there's of course, there's Winston Churchill, but yeah. Imagine there was, like, a, a big a big steel rush, and all of the workers at the steel mill know that they're running out of steel. And Margaret Thatcher, this politician, comes along saying they came up from the awfulest of it, despite that their blood is blue, and they believe in a good Britain, and all that stuff. And then imagine that the moment they came into power, they were like, Also, I was lying! And they pull out their evil person... Victorian era bad guy mustache and slap it on in place and then proceed to completely fuck the working class to death. That's Maggie Thatcher. That's why she's so popular as being an awful right wing cunt is because no one knew she was until she made it to power and screwed over everyone she made a promise to. Churchill was a drunk. He was an awful shitty cunt of a drunk. Uh, but at the same time he led us during a time of war by being quite charismatic. He has his- he's important. I mean, he's definitely important, and you know him because of- because of the war. That war that you guys turned up for in the end. British George but it- See, I only know Bush as a, a fucking incredible retard, or the father of the retards. I didn't even know he pulled the Thatcher, did he? Like, it's essentially how it went. Like, they just lied to their constituents, and then when they made it to power, immediately fucked over the working class in order to make the rich richer and as opposed to bring people out of an economic depression that they'd honestly put pretty good plans forward to do so made everything a whole lot worse most people don't even know that there were two bushes 
Like, how crazy is that shit? That's nepotism. <laughs> like, that shit wouldn't fly here. You would not get a sec- You wouldn't get a- a- a Thatcher Jr., let's put it that way. <laughs> Yet you had two bushes. Oh, Zyphorium, long time, no see. How's tricks, my man? We're talking about American presidents. I'm full of whiskey. <laughs> You're playing WoW again? Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> Star Wars The Old Republic is way better. <laughs> You're looking for a way to uh, ruin portions of your life. Star Wars The Old Republic's the way to go. Let me have a look here. Too fantastic. Guys... I, I, I would put it up on stream, but it would be porn. It's that fine. Goddamn, so fine. Every kind of fine. Ship it. You got your girlfriend to start- That poor woman. Why would you do that to her? That, that's double awful. Alright, bear it back a second. What a message to come back to. No, Dan, come back if you're not here. I just look like a vapid, self-absorbed cunt posting pictures to strangers. No! And then show no bombs. No, you're looking just lovely, Keeks. Just you relax about it. I was worried when I saw Mammogram. I'm not gonna lie. There's some means for concern right there. I don't think I've actually made this one strong enough. The other one had a lot too much whiskey in it. This one is too light. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna top this bitch up. One second. I'm gonna continue to go with be right back now. Wait, what day is it? It doesn't matter, I work seven days a week. In his country, it's now currently Tuesday the 12th. Pardon me? Just... That'll do it. It's true, my body cl It's not Monday anymore, Zypho. I guess. To me, it feels like, um, 6.47 on Monday, even though it's currently midnight 47 here. 
You thought it was Saturday? How did that happen? You're like a student and shit. I have put way too many shots in this bot in this glass now. How much have I been through of that today? I don't know. Holy shit, I made that very strong this time. Oh well. Back to art. You're not a student anymore? When did that stop happening? How old are you now, Zypho? It's been so long, I forget that you age as well as I age at the same rate. Let's see here, how are we coming across? I mean, it's looking... That's look at You graduated last... Congratulations on not flunking. You're 19 now, holy shit. Making me feel old and stuff. Oh well. <laughs> I'm, well, you're right, I'm gonna be passed out where the gas man is around anyway, because he's gonna be around in British time noon. He's as good as at aging as- a, he's not as good at aging as me- you- wait, okay, you grow a beard, never mind. I was gonna say, he doesn't have a beard like I do, but, you know, well paid to you. <laughs> oh well. There's so many windows open right now, holy shit. Okay, excellent. Continuing on our merry, merry way. You're in cold, frigid Norway. Of course you're in cold, frigid Norway. At least that hasn't changed. Your language is still ridiculous. Last I remember you were dealing with living with your crazy mother still. How times have changed, eh? I'm gonna have to, like, just change how those pigtails are connected now. Cause detail. <laughs> you're Danish? Oh yeah, your language sounds like a mouthful of hot potatoes if it were Swedish at the same time. Right? I'm remembering that rightly, aren't I? Danish is the language that's Swedish with a mouthful of hot potatoes. <laughs> Do I remember where you live? Uh, the internet. I'm not going to say where you actually live, just in case crazy stalkers come and have at you. <laughs> I'm glad I was correct. Hooray. Uh... See, if I don't add lines to it, it looks like I'm drawing ropey intestines, and that's not fucking on for someone's rad braids. Oh, shit. Fuck that line up again. I'm very good at fucking up lines. It's a good thing I'm doing this old style. As well as giving me pretty, pretty lines, it also makes everything look bad. Am I assuming you're going to get... I assume everyone's going to get gang-raped by internet strangers. I'm amazed that I still have butthole chastity. I, I technically... N never mind. Um, ignoring that and moving on. Um, it's just the way it is. <clears throat> Uni was a hell of a time. Do, 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 do. Oh, I've done this line way too thick. Oh, Jesus. Whatever. Uneven lines make everything a little bit less symmetrical, which is an issue. Hmm, questionable, hmm. Let's just delete out some edges, fuck it. Do it online tool. There is so much braid, when does this bitch end? <laughs> Jesus Christ. At least there is incredible Undertale tunes going on here. Like, rest, rest in peace, Goat Mom. See, I haven't said mom for you Americans out there. Uh, I fucked this one up. That line is no good.
More like Gator Tail? No, Undertale is- yeah, Undertale is fucking wonderful, Zypho, and we all know it. I've seen it played, uh, normal-wise, and it made me cry like a little bitch. Uh, and now eventually I'm gonna probably watch Duga do the, uh, genocide run of it, because it's edited. I say mom stupid- that's because I'm still British. No matter how I pronounce your crazy words, I still- I, like, I have to go deep on the O because then I still otherwise sound like I'm saying mum. See? That was me pronouncing M-O-M. Mum. It doesn't work. I haven't played it yet myself, no, because I've watched it played instead and someone did, someone did the emotional journey for me and also money's a thing, sadly. Instead I bought the soundtrack because I love the soundtrack. Uh God, I have like had to just go off the rails with these braids. At some point they'll meet again, like, in lines with the draft. How much braid is there left? Oh, look at that, the journey. No. <laughs> Say color without a U. Color, 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 color. I don't know. Is it color? I guess. I think I got it pretty much correct. I can do color without a U. Vitamin and aluminium. Also, if I dare say, my pronunciation is nuclear. <laughs> oh goodness me. It's interesting having someone in chat who has uh, anime anime delicious weeb emotes for uh, the chat. Of course I can say nuclear rights. Don't be crazy. Most Americans can't say nuclear right. Also, you use weird measurements, like Fahrenheit, which isn't even a thing. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your Fahrenheit. To be fair, centigrade's bullshit as well, but it's less bullshit than Fahrenheit. Brits get salty about aluminium. Um, Brits, in general, don't. It's engineers and scientists who get salty about it. Especially American scientists, actually. They fucking hate you guys for aluminium being a thing. Yeah, that's way too far up. Uh, this braid detail, yo. It was just George Bush who said it wrong. I am not a twat. Oh, I find it really hilarious that Americans say twat. That is so funny to me, because originally Americans started saying twat because they thought that's how British people pronounce twat. It isn't. It's one of the few times we use a hard A. <laughs> Learning our slang like crazy. God, there's a lot of whiskey in that one. How far are we into this playlist? Have you ever heard of a talking... Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the end. I'm a roadman? I don't know what that means. I'm mostly in line with the braids again. I'm getting there. That's the thing with, like, quickly drafted stuff like braids and chains and laces. People who do those quickly are the fucking devil. I mean, except for when they then turn it into a drawing. When they do it in a draft, then I'm left to turn them into something. You're the devil, Tao. Your mate Gideon is a hood rat Jewish Londoner. That's impressive. A hood rat Jewish Londoner. To be fair, though, uh, everyone knows London isn't said as London. 
I was born in London, you see. Uh, down here in the south, we, we say London is London. But London is London in London. Uh, London has no O's in it. It's spelt L-A-N-D-U-N. <laughs> yeah, Talsum, you should do that. Draw Kika with braids and chains and laces and, like, belts and shit. Just go crazy, and that's fine. Uh, I will goddamn draw it. He lives in- he's from Watford, but lives in London. Oh, okay. Every, look, Kika, we all know that if I actually then started colouring and drawing an anime picture of you, you would just blush the world's brightest shade of red. To be fair, you do love laces and belts. That's true. I mean, we can't disagree there. It's because laces and belts are sweet. As are chains and leather. Belt laces. We call them blaces. Alright, how we come... Let's have a look here. Oh, the whole job. Look at that. We're over halfway, you guys. <laughs> We're over halfway on one braid. You won't fight me. Mostly because you don't fight fights that you can already easily win by destroying me. Let's face it, you could take me in a fight on any fucking day. I'm sensitive. I'm a sensitive individual who doesn't fight. Mostly because I'm used to getting my shit kicked in. Look at that, God, I have... I don't know how long I've been streaming. Let's have a quick check here. An hour and 40 minutes, so like, art hour has turned into art nearly two hours. And I'm just gonna keep going until I get bored. Especially because you're a fighting dirty American. It's gonna make Dan sad, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm worried now what's gonna follow. What's going to make me sad, Tao? <laughs> His answer is, I have made a new character. They are mostly whips and chains. Unlike a couple minutes to make a ba braid brush in photo. You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> What's taking me an hour is the work of a minute to you. You're a bastard. <laughs> Fucking fight me, <laughs> I'll have you. I mean, my braids have come out well, at least. Come out well in line form. Just get good. You're right, yeah. I need to get gooder. The issue is also uh, I have to work at a strict speed because if I speed up too fast uh, while lassoing these, it just counts it as a double click and then I lose all of my work. Like, tap, 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 That's actually terrible. I just fucked that up, actually. There's no excuse for that, how terrible that is. Yeah, about this speed is as fast as I can possibly do a line, otherwise I risk just double-clicking a line and then losing everything I focus on. I ain't saying Talsim's braids are shit, I'm just saying that he doesn't need to do them detailed, but because I'm doing them detailed, it's making my life extra super-duper suffering. Holy shit, guys, look, I have actually lined up with his braids again. Ain't I an incredible son of a bitch? Look at this. There we go. And bam, I got to follow a line exactly again. Well, I say exactly. A bit messy, but whatever. Whereas I'm also, like, never in my camera fully, but that's just because it's not placed in a position that's optimal for me leaning into the screen while I'm doing art. Let's just have a quick. Squidgly movily, and we'll see if that fucks things up. Maybe a bit. A bit more. Alright. Oh, well, hold on, people. There we go. That's... That's not terrible. 
only slightly terrible. Back to art. Man, this song is discordant. Let's just, we'll jump ahead a bit. Whew, it's like an ear assault. I've not made it worse, because I know I'm gonna lean in. The squiggly movely, movely, you're right. It's a very precise technical maneuver. Squiggly movelies are, are how we get cameras into positions. Do 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 do. We'll make it look like the braid is twisting in on itself by making the curves larger, which is a pretty good trick I was taught. The harder you make a curly little angle there, the more deeply twisted something looks. Actually, I've done it a bit of a step too far. It needs to be thinner. There we go. Or is that just a tiny little smidge? Because it straightens out again. Hooray! Part of me wants to just set this music to fucking ridiculously loud, because it's fantastic music. But that wouldn't be very good for stream levels. At all. So you know what, let's talk American presidents again. Who's your favorite American president, American viewers? Ah, double click! Okay, re-select again everything. <sighs> I mean, my favorite American president is probably Roosevelt. What's in America? Oh, it's this place, like, way far away. It's nowhere near the Danes or the... the... the North and Earth and Danish people. I don't know maps. Fuck off. And this glass is mostly whiskey. But it's not actually as much alcohol as I drank last night while I was writing um, sex scenes for an erotic visual novel. Uh, the amount I drank last night was... Um, three shots of white rum, six shots of dark rum, three shots of Malibu, three shots of Curacao triple sec, uh, Three shots of lemon juice, uh, three shots of gum syrup, and coke to taste in each of those drinks. And by the end of the stream that I was watching when I was doing all of this drinking in, which was um, a D&D stream hosted by Savin Games, uh, I was sober again, <laughs> which was very strange. So I woke up the following morning with no hangover because I'd been given so much time to sober up again and eat food and drink liquids that weren't alcohol. That being admittedly at like 6 in the morning England time, but what felt like midnight America time. I'm very good at drinking these days. I, I, I dare say it's a talent of mine, actually. I'm pretty fucking great at uh, putting alcohol in my body. Ugh, god, that line is terrible. I'm going from the outside. In fact, if my roommate is still listening, I will just have him bring me alcohol while I do this. I don't think he is listening. You wish you were a lightweight? Sometimes I do too. It's very expensive if you go out and drink, but when you stay in and drink, being able to drink delicious alcoholic beverages for long periods of time is a wonderful treat. But going out and drinking is fucking impossible because you run out of money before you're hammered. God damn it, this line is gonna be way awkward. But we're nearly there. We're nearly at the end of a braid, you guys. I wish I'd been timing how long I was working on just this one fucking braid. <laughs> Your favorite president was Eisenhower, Towson. Why would that be? Oh no, this song. Oh, this song is a feelings trip. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Bim. Bum 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 burly dum bum. Burly dum bum burly dum dum. Burly dum bum burly dum. A liter of rum is thirty pounds. Jesus Christ! In my fridge, I have two bottles of rum that are ten pounds. About ten pounds. Like, they're cheap as fuck. Admittedly, it's not very good quality rum, but it will get you crunk at a price that's reasonable. Jesus Christ, that is some brutal drinking. It's public works, one of the few things the government does well. That was a surprisingly responsible answer. You can get a litre of rum for seven bucks? That's like five and a half. There's five pounds, in fact. That's five pounds. A litre of rum for a fiver. That is s six euros. That's some fucking noise. Kickstart the interstate highway system. You see, Talzin, your answer was very, very responsible. You've been like, I liked Eisenhower because once he punched a bear or some shit. Who was the guy who had a crocodile in the White House? He was a goddamn legend. Was that Roosevelt again? It sounds like something Roosevelt would do. He was a cool bro. He didn't give a shit about anything or anyone. You see, I've made a fatal mistake here. I've got the whiskey bottle right next to me, but the coke is like way in, the, in there, in another room entirely. It's heartbreaking. Oops. There we go. Nearly selected the wrong pen. Terrible noise right there. Oh my god, guys, we're nearly done with a braid! We nearly finished a braid. Holy shit. So the inter- like... You say the interstate highway system. It's really hard to imagine just how large America is. Not only for the fact that I live on a... What is essentially a tiny fucking island. But I live on a tiny, tiny fucking island. That, um... Has an incredible America tier population in it. So I can't imagine the... Just the travelling, honestly. Google says Quincy Adams. I don't know, Quincy Adams sounds not very forgettable because he had a crocodile in the White House. That sounds fucking dope as shit. <laughs> that sounds like a real man's man. But yeah, no. Um, I can't imagine the size of America. It's... I mean, I can look at it on a map. I've never been there by myself, and I'm, even if I'd have been there, I wouldn't understand it until I tried to traverse America. It seems nonsensically fucking huge. And also the TSA can go fucking sit on one, yeah. I mean, people say that they aren't gay, but then if they spend enough time doing air travel, then they've been legally halfway hand-jobbed enough times that I think it counts due to sheer number of gay experiences. <laughs> okay, well played, Kika. Well played. Your femme dick outweighs America. You've got it going for you. Me, mine is only a, a small American state compared to yours. You've crossed the country on bus and car a few times. How did you manage that then? Because surely America's huge as shit. Oh god, this braid is not drawn at the end, so now I've got to do it myself. I guess like this is the way to do it. Oh fuck, I double clicked at the last second. Oh my heart. Alright, you know what? We're gonna just... We're gonna do our own lines for the braid. Because I can't fucking get it. God damn it, Tao. I mean, our hour has gone on for so many multiple hours. It's gone for a whole two hours. Many ultimate hours. <laughs> My dick is the Rhode Island of dicks. I don't know. I would say it's Florida, because Florida's kind of like a shoe, and I've got that going for me at least. 
Florida's the one that looks like a shoe, right? I don't know. I don't know America. Driving all day and night across the country. Hmm. I mean, I guess that kind of means something to me, Tao. Three days to cross the country driving all day and night because getting from here to the other end of England through very, very, very busy streets is still like, I don't know, five hours, I guess, maybe six. Like, it's not an impossible journey. There are long stretches where it's quite easy to get by, and I know that America, in comparison, is like long stretches of fuck all, so they're probably quite quick to get through. Italy does look like a shoe. Oh, Florida is America's flaccid penis. Oh, that wouldn't be me then, because right now I'm taking uh, meds that have cranked up my metabolism in incredible quantity. The downside is that they've pumped up my drive a bit more than I would appreciate. Um, it, yeah. Definitely, there's, no, there's nothing soft going on these days. We'll see how that goes. Apparently that stops after like a month or so of accustoming to these meds. Good old, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. I can't remember the name of it. It seems like the kind of thing that you would just see the word Magnum on the side of the bottle because it just has that kind of effect. It's pretty rad. It's just an awesome vitamin B12, but it seems to have these incredible side effects. Go pick up a cougar again. No! No cougars! Jesus. I am a cougar machine. I only flirt with people who are way older than me for some reason. It's just part of how my life works because they don't scare me. How could they scare me? They've already seen and known anything and everything. What can I do that would be so goddamn surprising to them? Cougar story time? I am not giving you cougar story time. Holy shit, no. That is a story that no one needs to rehear again. Kiko already knows the vaguest slivers of that story, and I'm surprised that I told Keeks that, if I'm perfectly honest. Well played by me. I mean, I've got a pretty great number of story times when it comes to me and encounters with people. Let you in on it? No. I'll give you a different one instead, and how about some of my gayest experiences? They're less embarrassing than the cougar story. <laughs> okay, that would surprise people. A condom that looks like a penis wearing a little tuxedo and bow tie. No, everyone knows cougars don't believe in condoms. <clears throat> because they couldn't get pregnant again if they tried. No, okay, I'll give you a gay story instead of a cougar story. It's less embarrassing. Um, back when I was still a university student, I had long hair like I do now. I haven't always had long hair. I've had it quite short quite often. But um, back when I was doing university, I was also... I was quite skinny. I was quite skinny and I had no facial hair and I had very long hair. And I only started wearing glasses about halfway in. So I was actually quite androgynous. The thing about where I went to university, a place called Bedford, is that it's very... Um, it's very immigranty, and the pubs are pretty much always full. So where I would go to drink is this this pub slash restaurant place that was only full of like older dudes, older dudes and young gay men. I never got bought more drinks by men of the same gender than when I went to that pub, and it was fantastic. I got free drinks very very often, and. I would say, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm flattered, I'm genuinely flattered, really, but, um, I'm not gay, and they would go, oh, that's, honestly, that's fine, I mean, you can keep the drink that I bought you, so I would get free drinks and compliments all fucking, I love that pub, I got free drinks and compliments all fucking day, and, um, I felt very pretty, I felt very pretty and very gay, without having to do some stuff. That's genuinely my gay story, I suppose. But it, just the sheer number of, of times it happened, I guess. There's someone who, when I told them that I was gay, they were like, No, surely men of the same gender, as opposed to men of the opposite gender. <coughs> you know who I'm talking about. There are men of the opposite gender, and they're also wonderful, lovely, and attractive people. 
And I'm sure you know exactly who they are, geeks. Come on now, let's not be silly here. There are plenty of them out there. You giving me sauce while I'm telling serious stories about encounters with lovely gay blokes. But yeah, they, they complimented me a lot. There was one guy who uh, was very, very in insistent. <laughs> Men of the opposite sex. Hmm. Yeah, if you say so. If you say so. Ladies of the male gender, maybe? I don't know. I got distracted again. Yes, there was this one man who was very, very insistent that I was into him. Not the other way around. Not that he was into me. I mean, he was into me. I mean, fucking look at me. I made a beautiful girly man when I was younger. But he was insistent that I was into him. And he bought me a drink and I said, no, I, uh, I thank you and I mean, thank you for the drink. I mean, you can take it back if you really, really disagree, but I'm, I'm not interested in that way. He gave me this number and he's like, seriously, buddy, I mean, if, he didn't say buddy, I'm paraphrasing, he's like, seriously though, if you, um, you know, you're ever interested in what it's like back there, I mean, I'm just a, just a phone call away, I mean, honestly, I feel like you shouldn't be putting me on like this, I'm, I'm, I'm not putting anyone on, I'm just sat here having a pint, but uh, thank you very much for your interest, he goes, no, really though, I mean, you are putting me on a bit, I am. I'm really not. I'm not trying to, at least. And how do I know I don't get drinks from trans men? Maybe I did, but I mean, they were dressed as guys and looked like guys. I mean, I'd be okay with that. <coughs> I've been close enough to guys before that I'm a gay friend who takes me to gay clubs because he thinks it's hilarious. It is! And it feels really good to go to a gay club as a straight man because you just get compliments all the time for free. Women don't compliment men, like, fucking ever. Not to their faces, at least. Uh, putting him on is sort of very Britishism for, um... <laughs> to put me on his dick. Yes, yeah, very funny. To you, it will sound like you made that joke first, Kika, but I responded in time with the chat. Me yeah, no. Um, going to a gay bar as a straight man is a fantastic thing. They'll give you compliments, and women don't ever compliment men. They don't, and it makes you feel really bad. And you're like, am I, am I just not, not attractive at all? And then they'll make you feel better about yourself because they're wonderful and lovely. And if I were attracted to them, I would be rolling in butthole. I'm really sad that I'm not. But I find that men lack a certain vaginary quality that I kind of tend to go for in a person. I think I just finished the braid! You got- No, I didn't. Never mind. There's like a few lines left I need to do. Ah, god, I was so close to feeling good about me. There, uh, short line. I'm nearly there, though. Nearly there. We're gonna get this braid fucking done, you guys. Short little smidgens. Just a few more. You keep complimenting men, but they got really- you tried complimenting them and they got really creepy. That's a shame. I mean, I accept compliments from you, Keeks, and- but then again, people generally scare me, so I'm quite neutral in my acceptance- acceptance? Acceptance of compliments. I'm sorry, I'm pretty buzzed. Yeah, no, uh, it's because men are creepy as fuck. If that's your thing, there are men that have vagi <laughs> vagina equality, like Buck Angel. <laughs> okay, guys. Real talk. I finished the fucking first braid. Oh! We're there. We're there. Fucking braid town. You're really good at not being objectively terrible at this thing that you're good at. Is that how you compliment speedrunners, Kika? That sounds like how you compliment speedrunners. You're really good at not being objectively terrible at this thing you're good this think you're good at. That sounds very, very like much like a speedrunner compliment. I finished a braid. Dan confirmed wouldn't let Bailey J touch his penis. I don't know who Bailey J is. Now I've got to fucking Google that. I hope you're goddamn happy. 
That's how you complimented your Dota 2 teammates. I compliment my Dota 2 teammates by saying, way to not fuck up, cunt. Alright, Bailey J. Are you kidding? Bailey J is hot as fuck. I would do things with Bailey J. Oh my god, she is beautiful as hell. No, if I'm honest, there have been people in my life who are of a uh, vaguely mixed, blended gender. What I said is basically the same. I'm also drunk, that's my excuse. No, that, that's a very attractive person right there. Back to this art thing that I'm doing instead of me talking about buttholes and vaginas and stuff. Looks like one dude from Gatchman that dresses like as a girl. He's cool. I think this person is just Moe as opposed to a dude in drag. Again, though, like, as for actual tastes in women, I am a big fan of the tomboys. Like, if a girl is athletic and Celtic, like, you know, just Irish toms, I am so fucking into them, it's unreal. Like, they're my jam. If ever someone could say that their jam was a, a variety of gender, you know, ignore that portion. This is possibly the weirdest Twitch conversation I've ever been involved in, either as a commenter in the chat or a streamer myself. Maybe it's not the vagina as much as the boobs and pretty face. I don't know, it's more the fact that when I did that Google search, it's just lots of pictures of this person smiling. That's fucking wonderful. <laughs> I love it when someone looks happy with themselves. When someone looks comfortable and... Yes, Kika, because also whenever I see pictures of you, you're smiling, like, and you look lovely. Yes, I think you're very pretty. Kohai. Also, that's the end of this, this playlist. I guess it's back to playing some Undertale music, you guys. Let's see here. Um, where has it gone? I have to do some click around even majig stuff. Uh, add to Windom. Windows Media Playlist? No, no. All my settings are fucked. Go up to the top once upon a time. There we go. Google search Bailey J with the adult filter off. Oh, really? I would do that, but I'm streaming right now. <laughs> and I'm fucking full of testosterone. That's not a ter that's not a good idea at all. Jesus, no, no, let's not do that. I'm I've got to maintain at least some modicum of composure. I have I have B vitamins that have cranked up my body's brain chemicals that say stuff is attractive by like a ridiculous vast amount. We don't need that. We do not need that or want that even. Uh, let's okay. Back to braids, you guys. Let's worry about braids. Nice, nice safe braids. We can deal with braids. Braids don't involve any real talk. Did I say you someone drew art? Okay, let's have a look here. New tab. Oh, that's really good! Holy shit, I might put that on stream. Give me a sec. That's so good. Add window, window, Imca. There we go. Holy shit, that's so good. That is fucking spot on. Who is that artist? They are wonderful. That's really good art. <laughs> By the way, if I get permission to put this on YouTube with um, Undertale Music on, I will make sure to put links to stuff like this in the video. Because honestly, there's going to be occasions where someone's going to be listening to this in like the background, and eventually they'll hear like someone reacting to a to a ridiculous picture. Flowy battle? Of it. Yes, it is flowy. Oh God, flowy is a cunt. Um, they'll hear someone go like, "Oh, that's amazing," and they'll want to see it themselves. Wait, 
Wait, why is it playing the Flowey Battlefield theme? I don't think that turns up that early in the uh, playlist. Okay, the artist is E I C I N I C dot deviant art. Let's put this person on watch and comment. I am a big fan of Kate. Love the fan art you did of her. Ek, submit comment. Take that.